Hi everyone, I'm Ani Ghazaran from Neptune AI and we're here at the AI Engineer World's Fair today. And I have Sandra Kublik from Cohere, who is not only growing the community at Cohere, but is also the mastermind behind the Sandra Kublik podcast, where she's uh, bringing the best off of the LLM community recently, especially women, right? Yeah, uh, Sandra, you're typically on my side of the interview. We're really happy to, to have you here today. So could you tell us a bit about your background, um, uh, where, where you're coming from, how you ended up in Koi here? All right, so um, thanks so much for having me. I love to be on the other side. Uh, yeah, my background, I have spent the last four to five years studying LLMs. I um, started as actually uh, ML advocate at Neptune. I've been working here for one year. It was a very nice experience. And then I got really interested in large language models. Um, and I've been creating content that would help me think them through, uh, think through the main concepts when it comes to the architecture of LLMs, how they work, the type of use cases there are. Um, and that's how I got to work with Cohere. And I've been loving it ever since. So at Cohere, we are building foundation models we're building large language models and we optimize them to work with rag type of use cases so if you want the model to be able to retrieve external information and tap into various types of tools so it could be a calculator so that it can add math properly or it could be a Python interpreter so that it could plot the data that it retrieves and fetches. Um, we are optimizing our models to be really good at that. And Command R Plus is the latest version. Stay tuned for the updates. They are coming for sure this year. What's the, the, the rest of the question? Yeah, yeah. So with the recent, I mean, relatively recent release of the Common R Plus model, it outperforms uh, similar uh, models in the market in terms of cost, right, scalability, and I wonder, I wonder how do you see this race uh, of the rag-based models evolve in the future, and um, where, where do you see Cohere stand within that context? So we've always been focused on working with enterprises. We are not chasing AGI, we're not out there to build the biggest, most robust um, most capable model in terms of all kinds of use cases. We're very, very much focused on the biggest pain points that enterprises have. Um, and that means also being able to scale the model uh, really nicely within the company. You can imagine that enterprises usually work with huge amounts of data. They would have to pay very, very big sums of money to work with the likes of GPT-4 or Cloud Opus. And, uh, Command is in the sweet spot category where it's big enough to be competitive in terms of reasoning capabilities, but also small enough to be very cost effective. Um, so, yeah, we've been we've been focusing on that, and I think we're mostly covering the text modality when, when it comes to the use cases. Enterprises mostly work with text, so that's why we're focusing on it. But we're also exploring the multimodal path and models being able to interpret images, for example, a report that a coworker might send you and whatnot. So this is kind of how we're thinking about it and where we're heading. And um, what do you think are one of the big, biggest challenges that will remain in, in uh, rag-based LLM systems within the next two to three years that will be hard to solve? So I think the remaining uh, pain point is going to be accuracy. So models are really good at connecting with information sources, but they tend to be pretty lazy. So if I give an LLM that's not optimized for rack use cases a huge report and ask it for a summary, it's going to be heavily based on the beginning of the report. So it's not going to really dive deep, analyze everything, and then return information that's kind of like a really nice summary that shows that it really went through the deep end. Um, what we are working on is to make sure that the LLM is looking for the most accurate information that's often buried deep within. So I think this is kind of the biggest pain point right now. Generally, there are a lot of pain points when it comes to RAG. Building RAG and, and 
actually applying it to production is really hard. There are multiple challenges that you need to solve. Um, but I'm really excited ab about this. And I think um, the next steps for Rack will be this so-called so advanced track where the model is not only retrieving information from kind of static data sources, but it's also able to perform actions on top of the retrieved information. And this is also what we are working on. It's called multi-step. Yeah. And we've just released an API that's allowing people to uh, ask the model to perform a sequence of actions that built on top of the previous actions. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Uh, best of luck. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to share with our viewers, um, this is the chance. Okay, awesome. So shout out to Neptune. I really love the company. You should check it out. Uh, I'm sure they're hiring, so definitely check their careers page. It's a really, really great place to work. Um, yeah, stay tuned. I'm available on socials. Keep in touch with me. If you have questions about Cohere models or the LLM ecosystem in particular, I'm interested in getting in touch. Take care.